What's up guys, this is me Press Lee. Today we've got some brand new Adopt Me leaks on what the ocean egg might look like and when it's coming into the game, guys. This is so crazy. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button if you're excited for the ocean egg. But guys, before we get started, I wanna see, are you a part of the Pretzel Army yet? Wait, you're not a part of the Pretzel Army? If you're not a part of the Pretzel Army, what are you doing with your life? Are you crazy? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you are already subscribed, hit that like button. I wanna see if you can do that in just three seconds. You ready? Let's go three, two, one! Guys, did you leave a like and subscribe in that time limit? Awesome, thanks so much for doing that. You're now part of the Pretzel Army, the best army on YouTube. Start off with, this is what the map might look like when the ocean egg comes into the game. How cool is this? It's like a massive beach. There's umbrellas everywhere. There's like sand piled up near the nursery. But guys, I've already shown you this map in another video. Go check that video out if you haven't already. But I've actually got some new pet concepts and design that might actually be coming into Adopt Me. So let me show you the new stuff first. And then we'll come back to the game and explore it some more because there's been a ton of new updates. Okay, so we're on a video from Nixie Bell and she's came up with some awesome concepts on what the up might look like. Let's get straight into this guys. Take a look. Look, so it's loading in and then when we load into the game there'll be the update board and take a look at this guys. Three, two, one. Look at this. It says happy update day. New ocean egg with 10 pets to collect. There's a brand new fish shop and no more flooding. Does that mean there'll be flooding before the ocean egg update? Like the whole map will flood up and then it unfloods and the ocean eggs are here. That'll be so cool. So we can see on the side, you can unlock the fish shop. And also, there's a cute little shrimp pet. It's a cute little shrimpy. Look at it, look at it, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And it also says the ocean egg update, guys. This is so awesome. It looks like the real Adopt Me. Okay, let's go, let's keep going through. So when we learn into Adopt Me, we always go as a role. But what do you guys do? Do you do parent or baby? I usually go as parent if I'm filming, but if I'm grinding, I usually go as a baby. Because like, that makes you more money. As a baby, you make more money. That's a little tip for you, if you guys didn't know. If you go as a baby, you 100% make like double the amount of money. So what is she gonna pick? Is she gonna go as a parent? There we go. She's a parent. That's awesome. So her second update idea is a fish shop. We actually saw that and we can unlock it. Okay, let's take a look at what the fish shop will look like. So, oh my gosh, it says it on the side. There's the fish house or the fish shop. That's so cool. Okay, so she clicks on it and then it says, welcome to the fish shop. Purchase a fish tank, buy the new fishes and more. That's so awesome. Look, she presses next and she goes and teleports to the fish shop, guys. I wonder what the fish shop will look like. Here it kind of looks like the pet shop, but will it look like the pet shop in the actual update? Or will the pet shop turn into the fish shop? Oh my gosh, let's take a look, guys. Oh my gosh, look, she's flying in front of it. It's an awesome fish shop. That looks so cool. We can see that she actually built it in Adopt Me as well. That's really awesome. Look at her, she's flying with her guardian lion. And then she opens the door and enters the fish shop. And what does it look like? Oh, hi, my name is Annabelle. What would you like to buy? So this is one of the fish, like, shop, 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 shop ears. That's what I was going to say. Shop ears, shop counter people, that thing. A shopkeeper. I knew that. Did not just Google it. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what else Annabelle has to say. So, oh my gosh, Annabelle sells you a bubble fish for 250 bucks, a sea fish, and a golden fish. Oh my gosh, this will be so cute swimming next to you. That'll be so awesome. You can buy them for 250 and then you can get some accessories. You can get a fish tank, fish food, or a fish rattle. That's really awesome. Is she gonna buy the fish tank? Yes, guys, she'll buy the fish tank for a cute little fishy to live in. That's so awesome. What about the ocean egg, guys? What would the ocean egg look like? She said, great choice, have a great day, and the items were successfully bought. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. These were so cool ideas. These ideas were so, so cool. Guys, let's go, let's take a look at some more ideas. Okay, so now we're in a video from Avocado Plays, and this is her concepts for the ocean egg pet. So let's go. To start off with, there's a cute little green stingray, guys. How cute is this? Look at it, the little shimmer in its eyes, and it will just fly next to you. But I've never seen a green stingray. Can stingrays be green? Let's Google that. Oh, they are. Some of them are green. They look poisonous, though. They definitely look very, very poisonous. So, uh, if you ever see a green stingray, probably don't touch it. That probably won't end well for you. <laughs> guys, oh my gosh. I never actually knew that they were green. Fact of the day, guys. Some stingrays are green. But, guys, let's go. Let's keep watching this video. So, 
Take a look at it. It goes up and down and there's bubbles everywhere, guys. That's so cool. I love this little stingray pet. Like, it will just glide next to you. It'll be so elegant and it's going to be ultra rare. I would totally think that this has to be legendary because it's such a cool pet. I want this to be legendary. Or I kind of want it to be common so we get it every time. <laughs> Here we have her ideas for the ocean egg. Guys, how cool is this ocean egg? I love the seaweed and the little shells, the algae. And of course, the starfish, guys. The cute little starfishes. That's so awesome. It's 750 bucks, but look at it. Look at all the seaweed around it. I just think this is so awesome, guys. How cute is it? And then it jumped. Oh, how can an egg be cute? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, guys, just how cool is this? And I love how the bubbles are everywhere, guys. That's so awesome. Fred Slummy, I obviously made my own ocean egg. Take a look at this. So I animated all of this like quite a while ago now. But take a look at it. It jumps up and down. All the fishes swim around it and the seaweed and the coral and the starfish. Guys, I worked so hard on this egg. If you want to see more of these concepts, I actually made nine different ocean pets and three different eggs. So guys, make sure to check out my other ocean egg videos if you want to check out what pets come from this ocean egg. Well, let's keep taking a look at what avocado plays as pets are. So here we have a common octopus. Guys, how cute is this? It's a little octopus and it's got a big brain. It's a big brain octopus. Like our Dave from Penguins of Madagascar. This looks like Dave. Oh my gosh, I need to name mine Dave. I need to name my octopus Dave if it comes into the game looking like this. Because guys, it looks like Dave. That's so, so cute. And I love how it's like orange tentacles and orange... I love how it's orange tentacles are orange. How cool are those orange tentacles that are orange? Hmm. Very good, those orange tentacles that are orange. Come on. <laughs> My brain isn't working correctly today. I'm sorry, guys. And I love how, like, she's made it actually look 3D. I think that's really, really awesome, like, with the shading and stuff. Next up, there's a cute little seahorse pet. How cute is this seahorse? Like, look at it. It's so pink. And, like, I love the white shimmer in its eyes. I got my colours correct. Yes, I did. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> but guys, how cute is this? I love its yellow belly, its yellow little things on the back. Why does that remind me of like... That reminds me of Yoshi. The little things on its back. It looks like Yoshi's little like frills on its back, I guess. Next up, we have a cute little clownfish. It's Nemo, guys! Look, it's Nemo the clownfish. That's so cute. Look at it. It's little Nemo. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. It's uncommon. And what were the other pet rarities? The seahorse is rare and the octopus is common. So common, rare, and uncommon, guys. How cool is the clownfish? Next, we have a narwhal. Oh my gosh, guys, it's a narwhal with a massive, like, horn. That's really, really cute. Gee, have you guys heard the narwhal song before? The narwhal song is so annoying. You know, the one that's like, narwhals, narwhals, swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion because they are so awesome. And then it's that, like, two million times over. Annoying, but I liked it when I was very, very little. I used to listen to it when I was, like, seven. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's the narwhal song, and it's a narwhal. Guys, I just think this narwhal is just so, so super duper cute. Okay, let's keep on taking a look at what her other pets are. So here we have a cute little common crab, guys. Look at the little crab. Do you guys remember the crab wave? The massive thing. It was, like, in one of the YouTube rewinds. I remember the crab wave. I, I may or may not have played it overnight. Anyway guys, here we have the legendary pet. It's the cute legendary shark. And this one's actually cute, but it's scary because it's got the massive teeth. It's like teeth is all, it's all over its face. It's creepy, it's scaring me up. But I think it's pretty cool guys. And I love how it like goes up and down. It's such a cute little pet. Look, the little shark swims in. Guys, I just think this is so awesome. But recently, the YouTuber Forever Sparks has uploaded a brand new video. We all know Forever Sparks, she makes some awesome concepts, but let's go, let's take a look at what the concepts are. To start off with, there's a new egg design. She presses the bio ocean egg, and guys, this actually wasn't made by her. It was made by the YouTuber The Box Quiz, so shout out to them for this awesome concept. But I don't know why she copied it, usually she makes her own concepts. But guys, this is actually really cool. Next, there's the 10 new ocean pets. Take a look, so there's a seahorse. A blobfish! A blobfish! That is so... That's so funny. There's also a seal. I don't know what that is. That looks like a sea otter. There's a shark. Next we have the gumball machine. The, look! Look, look, I just didn't even have a second to talk about that. Look, it's a 10% chance of being a legendary. And the gumball machine, its current egg is the ocean egg. And the next egg... 
Well, the next step, what would the egg be after the ocean egg? I think it would be something like the mythical egg or something. This new pet animation. So we can see this egg's jumping up and down and then it hatches. And what do we get? It's a cute baby seal. Guys, how awesome is the cute baby seal? It is so, so cute. Look at it jumping up and down. It's like, or, or, or. That's so cool. Okay, guys, that's really awesome. And next, there is the Twitter post from Adopt Me saying that there's going to be the ocean egg. Look, ocean eggs out now. Adopt 10 new ocean pets, all with unique tricks, and over 15 brand new underwater pet wear items. Guys, that's really awesome. Let me know down in the comments below if you're excited for the ocean egg update, because I think I am. But guys, let me take you around this awesome concept game of what the ocean egg map will look like. So, we can see that there's the ocean egg right there. Take a look at that, guys. It's the actual ocean egg and what it will look like. Whoa. Only a 0.5% chance of being a legendary and a 60% chance of being a common. That is pretty insane. The legendaries better be pretty rare out of this egg. But also, since last time we played, there's been an update. So there's actually the different buttons on the sides. There's the friends button, the family button, the dress up button, and the shop button. And you can actually go and hover your mouse over them and everything. And also, the sky has been changed, and so have the mountains. The mountains are now made out of sand. And this game just keeps on getting updated. Like, there's new stuff pretty much every time I join it. Also, guys, there's the massive lighthouse, which was there last time, but it's still pretty cool. And over there, there's the little shop where you'll be able to buy some ocean egg stuff. And can we see any other differences, guys? Can you see anything different? Ooh, this whole area is just sand. Maybe they're about to add a massive building there, guys. Oh, guys, this is actually really cool. Also, they fixed the water problem. The water was a little bit glitchy here, but they fixed it. And guys, I really, really love this idea for the map. If you want this idea for the map, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it's so awesome. Anyway, guys, that's all the Ocean Egg Tea I've got for today. If you want to see some more, let me know down in the comments below. But I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace!